The Burp Suite Intruder has another mode of operation called the Pitchfork. We're going to use the login page to demonstrate this. First, we log in with any username and password just to create a baseline request. It doesn't need to be a correct login. We just need to have a good request that isn't modified in order to use the intruder to compare against later. When we go back over to Burp Suite, we find our request in the proxy HTTP history. It's the last request we made, so it should be at the bottom of the list. We right click and say send to intruder. Once there, we notice on the positions tab that Burp has already highlighted all the different input positions. In this demonstration, we're going to focus on the username and password field, so we clear out the markers and add just the username and password values. Now we have the markers around these fields, so those are the locations that Burp is going to inject with our test values. We change the attack type to pitchfork. On the payloads tab, we're going to notice that there's more than one payload set. In this case, there's two because there's two positions marked. In fact, there will be as many payload sets as there is positions marked because Burp is going to take the first value from the first payload set and inject it into the first field, the first value from the second payload set into the second field, the first value from the third payload set into the third field, and so on. And it will work its way down the list using the second values in the respective list, the third values in the respective list, and so on. This is useful in doing tests such as logins where you have a list of username password pairs and you want to make sure that the password and the username associated with each other are tried for that particular login. In our test, we're going to have three users. We're also going to have three passwords because we have three users. And again, we're sending in pairs of input. In order to send in the passwords, we pick payload set number two and send in the respective passwords for these users. These may or may not be correct, but these are the guesses we're making per user. So in our example, password is associated with Jeremy, password one with Fred, and the Marty password with Tim. We start the attack, and then we'll take a look at the results. If we look at the request made for the Fred username, we notice that the burp sent in the username Fred with password one. If we look at the Tim request, we see Tim with the Marty 25, and the Jeremy request we see with Jeremy and password. We also note that in this particular case, the password for the user Jeremy happened to be correct. And we can see that instead of getting back a 200 response, we got back a 302 redirect. And the username and UID cookies were set for Jeremy because the username and password were correct. This demonstrates the use of the pitchfork mode of the intruder tool.